Okay, pit smoke here. Now I'm getting ready to do some chicken fingers, chicken fried chicken fingers. I think that's what it's called. Now I got this recipe off of Man Kitchen Recipes. Kevin done this here a while back and they really look delicious. About two weeks ago I was watching Kevin with Man Kitchen Recipes make chicken fingers. Now he said you call them chicken fingers, chicken strips, or chicken tenders, whatever we wanted to, and I agree with him. But I guess I will prefer chicken fingers right now. Now these chicken fingers look really good, and I've been wanting to make them ever since I seen this video. Okay, we've got our chicken strips, our egg and milk mixture, and our flour with pepper and garlic. Now. We'll start dipping them into the egg wash, put them into the flour, coat them real good. Back into the egg wash, coating real good, and then back into the flour once again. Now once we have all of these uh, dipped and floured, I guess you'd say, we set them over on a pan that I have laying there, and uh, once we get them all coated and breaded, we'll take them out and get them on the griddle. Okay, evidently I thought I was recording when I wasn't recording. But anyways, these are looking really good. Got one side of them browned. All oh, they're looking really good. Gonna taste really delicious. There's a little more oil in there. Oh, by the way, Kevin, I borrowed your thermometer there. Yeah, let's go a little bit more on there. That one, I believe, is done. I believe we're about done here. Man, these look delicious. <laughs> we love chicken fingers, chicken tenders. And just these really turned out great, and boy, it smells good. Yeah. It's climbing, but slowly. Let's let it cook there a little bit more. We'll turn it on the edges and stuff. Hey, these chicken fingers turned out perfect. 
tasted great, and man, they smelled good while cooking them. Oh, and by the way, stay tuned. I was going to show you a little bit how I leveled my griddle when I'm out here in the carport, because it gets moved around and put up. Here's a little trick I discovered. This is what I do uh, to level and get my griddle uh, square or level. And I use these little uh, wedges, they're shims, that you get at the lumber yard. But I put one in front of each wheel here at the uh, end that needs to come up a little bit. And you can kind of roll it with your level on there and see when you get to square or plumb and stop, put the brake on, and you're good to go. Now, I don't know if you noticed, it was off a little bit. It was almost in between the lines there, if you can see it, but it still likes a little bit. It's actually probably an eighth to a quarter of an inch uh, there it needs to come up. So I'll pull it over and we'll look at it again. Now my old carport's pitted and rough, but uh, you just pull it right up on it. It's just like a ramp. It just comes just as easy. And uh, we're looking at it, and evidently I need to come back a little more. Uh, I guess a person could even put two of these together to get to your height a little quicker that you may need and still have plenty of room. Okay, it looks like we've got it level now, so we set the brake on the front. I just set one of them. You can set both of them. But just remember to think safety and do this on solid ground or concrete or wherever you're at so nothing's going to fall. I shook it to make sure it's not going to roll or fall off. And uh, <clears throat> But that's how I level mine. Hey, click on one of those other videos on the screen there, and I'll meet you there.